Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Lush Life video where I will be spending 20 minutes warming up my wife's hands because she has Raynaud's disease and her extremities are cold 24 hours a day. Can I go down your shirt? Ah! 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 Let that hairy back come to some good use. Oh! <laughs> uh, are you how... in the video like that? Oh yeah, that's oh. it. Intro done. <clears throat> Glad to have you guys here today. I saw, this is like a very old game, but I wanted to play it. I wanted to take a break from the normal nonsense of the internet. We're playing a little game of Would You Rather today. Oh dear. Gonna just be a We're conversation. A break and eh, coming people, along for the ride. Yeah, this is for you guys. You know, they're gonna get to learn a little bit more about us. We're not talking about anything trendy or whatever. We're this not talking like about the liver king who just got busted for steroids, by the way, which is hilarious. Yes. This sounds like a more appropriate nighttime recording with a little bit of a cocktail in hand. Yeah, sure does, except every time I ask you to do that, you scoff at me and say no. Because you know I'm in my pajamas by 6 p.m., so leave me alone. No shit, so don't don't offer up something that you're not gonna ever it do. It just sounds like the right vibe. To be drinking when you do Would You Rather? Yeah. Of course it does. If you want some nonsense to come out of my mouth. <laughs> I'd rather some nonsense go in it. You know? Shut up! <laughs> Are you ready for the questions? Definitely not. All right. Some of these I found on the internet. Some of them I made myself. A few are tailored for just you, but I'll be answering them as well. Are you ready? No. Here we go. Would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? What? Jail for five years or a coma for a decade? To me, jail. this is easy for five years. Yeah. Whatever takes up less of your life, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah, sure, yeah, jail. This was a question It's not like there's a right answer, I mean. Yeah, even if it was five and five, I'd probably still pick jail. It's, maybe that's, yeah, maybe that's weird. I think weird. so. Because coma suggests that you probably had a pretty serious injury, who knows what the but other. But like, okay, with the, if you. I'm creating like extraneous circumstances I know, seriously. Now. If you could wake up from that coma and go back to your normal life, I would choose that. Sometimes. Yeah, I guess the jail, you would have that on your record and stuff, so that might make it more yeah, difficult. Yeah, and you're gonna have some prison tattoos to show for it. <laughs> oh yeah? Is this, everyone goes to prison and has to get tattooed? Totally. Yeah, 100%. I would. Anyways, yeah, jail for five over coma for 10, because gaining that extra five years of your life is crucial. No, there's no time to waste when it's time being spent with you, my love. You're dead. Hey! <laughs> would you rather never be able to scratch an itch or never be able to pop a pimple? Again. Oh, definitely never be able to pop a pimple. Okay. Are you shitting me? Uh, That's not even a real question. Oh, well, you're like obsessed with that, though. You love that um, stuff. I wouldn't no. say I wouldn't say obsessed, but like no. you, you do like like when you I were. I mean, if there's a pimple on my face, yes, I'm going to pop it. However, when you were actively or even doesn't matter, but you being in the medical industry as a nurse for so many years, you loved like the ex like cyst extraction stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot stuff of experience with that. Skeeves me the. Out, dude. Oh I no, I don't take a scalpel see... to that bad boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, just like, I've... for somebody who like, who lurches when I like open a cottage cheese container <laughs> in the kitchen, and then you're like, yeah, let me get that cottage cheese pus extraction that smells like a fucking dumpster fire. Some of them are exactly like cottage cheese. No wonder I hate that shit. Yeah, so but you love it so when it's a cyst? There's different types of cysts, of course, and the sebaceous cysts tend to have more cottage cheesy thick type. The, uh, see, now I'm um, lurching, all right? Because that's gross. Cottage cheese us. with pineapples in it, delicious. Well, you're talking about vile, dude. No, other way around, dude. But to answer the question- Give me all the cysts. <laughs> yeah, definitely I need to be able to scratch my itches. That's, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's too easy. Yes. Moving right along. Imagine really... you get a mosquito bite and you can't scratch it. Life's over. <laughs> yeah, take, take me to the psych just, ward. I'm, yeah, done. I'm done. Just put me in the dirt, bro. I don't even want to talk about it. All right, that was a long one. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Would you rather find two hundred dollars floating in a public toilet or five dollars in your pocket? I'll take five, please. I'm going two hundred every time. Dude, listen, you can grab that 200, snatch it up real quick, little hand sanitizer, let it bake in the sun. Well, we already know you don't like to wash your hands, so. <laughs> Why is that? Was that that short video I made? Disgusting. Yeah, I mean, most this, of the... There's a reason you can't eat food that no, everyone First makes. of all, first of all, don't put paint me because in a bad light because most people hands. that watch this channel and know me know that the, those videos are satirical. I know. I typically wash my hands when I go to the restaurant. I'm not believing it. But the point remains. Jackson said that you went into the men's room at the movies with him the other day and someone like walked in and pulled their pants down all the way and he saw his butt. <laughs> Wait, what? No, that's what Jackson did. <laughs> <laughs> no, he told me someone else did it. Oh, did he really? All I remember, cause I was peeing in the urinal next to him and as Jackson does, he dropped it to the floor so his cheeks were hanging out and he's peeing in the urinal. And there was a kid in the stall behind him that came out. He was like a little older, maybe like six or seven. 
and like came out and like stopped because Jackson was just pants to his drawers. <laughs> And it was like this, and then kept going. And then Jackson looked behind him and was like, eh, did he pull his pants up? I don't, like, I can didn't. We, can you maybe uh, work on that with him? Yeah, I'll try. All right. I just think it's funny. You know what's even no, funnier? No, he just doesn't know that he doesn't know. Good friend of mine. Well, the best part is good friend of mine from college. His name's Mike. I'll leave his last name off. That used to be his thing. Anytime we'd be out drinking at college just parties. Anytime we'd be at a bar. Yeah, he would go. He'd think it was hilarious to run into a men's room, like a crowded men's room, and just drop his pants to the floor in the Jackson yard. Jackson told me a story yeah. about himself, but made it sound like someone else did it. <laughs> I think that's exactly he what he did. He told me some guy. He was telling you a story about himself in, in the third person. He dropped their pants all the way down. And I'm like, okay. He, he told you a third person RPG version of what it was like to be in the bathroom. All right. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so I would take the 200. Bake that, months. bake it in the sun, well, dry it five out, or 15, launder it. It's five. It's five versus two hundred. Okay, that's substantial. For a little bit of public poop on your fingers, you just wash that right off. Okay. I mean, if I had a pair of gloves handy. There you go, hon. Would you rather fart in front of Tom Brady or poop you or poop your pants at the beginning of a ten-hour plane ride? I would definitely poop my pants. <laughs> oh yeah! Instead of farting in front of Tom Brady. <laughs> I love that you didn't even think about it. You just immediately were like, I'm, I'm taking a deuce in my pants on the plane. That's a 10 hour plane ride. Listen, There's nowhere to go. Listen, I got some extra to you wear can my just carry on or something. I, I didn't even specify. It could have been like a crop dust in front of Tom. Like maybe he wouldn't this even is, know. Is there a dog around? I can blame the dog. <laughs> Tom Brady is like up here. So I would fart in front of Tom any time <laughs> of that because I'm a dude. <laughs> so like be no problem. We'd probably high five it afterwards. Although Tom Brady, as much as, and believe me, much as no, I love the guy, like farts roses much as I love the guy, like, like he's probably one of those weird dudes that's like afraid to fart in front of people because he thinks it's crass, which is crazy in 2022. Farting is life. <laughs> <laughs> not for, apparently not. Farting not. is life? <laughs> yes. Can I, that's, that should actually be merch. It says farting is life. <laughs> Why have I not thought of that before? Would you rather be stuck on an elevator with Trisha Paytas or Morgs? Over Trisha Paytas? Yeah, I think so. I think probably me too, because yeah. Morgs, you think, like Morgs, you know, is probably mostly an act and in real life, he's probably pretty, like you been on elevator, it'd be probably right, pretty normal. And if he normal. pulled an act, it's fine. It's... But Trisha Paytas is Trisha she Paytas. She might brainwash me in like the short time it takes to get from floor one to floor 10. I don't know what type of washing she'd be doing, but I don't want to, anything to do with being stuck anywhere with her. Imagine Ethan Klein did it willingly on a podcast. <laughs> that was short lived, wasn't it? Sorry. Well, yeah, I mean, any, as, as is tradition, anything that Trisha touches blows up in a, in a hot fiery mess of drama. Would oh, you rather oh, be able to away. only... What? Get away from me with that question. Oh, see, you're not supposed to read them. Oh, I'm sorry, supposed to sorry, read them to I you. I won't read. I'm so used to looking at the screen. Would you rather be able to only shit. eat sweet or savory food? I know the answer. Duh. Obviously. Sweet, 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 sweet. Your sweet tooth is your lifeblood. Yes. Ice cream. I would... I would take I'll savory. I'll eat pancakes for breakfast. I'll have like a smoothie with some Despicable. extra fruit Despicable. in it for lunch or an acai bowl. And I will have an ice cream sundae for dinner. I much. would take savory. I would give up sweets. I need salty snacks. I need savory. I need steaks. I need butter. Salt is very unnecessary. I like it, but no. Oh, yeah. And like processed refined sugars is not unnecessary? No, I just mean in my life it's unnecessary. Oh, yeah. Not in mine. I need that. <laughs> I'm like one step away from just pouring salt on my tongue as a snack. Sometimes. I know. Yeah. Huggly. I'm just kidding. I Wait, tried. You made a sad mistake one day. No, Dance. don't talk about it. It's embarrassing. I'm just kidding. I no, don't. he always has to put extra butter on the buttered popcorn at the movies, of yeah. course. Yeah. But then one day he grabbed the salt shaker and started loading that baby up. And I was like, like holy crap, we're supposed to be sharing this. I'm not eating that. I don't know what I was thinking because the it's so effing salty movie theater as it is. popcorn already is basically baked and is just cooked in salt. Mistake I won't make again. We just recently had movie theater you bought were it two like days ago. You were like baffled that I was so mad about the salt. I just, I was having a lapse in judgment, all right? Would you rather eat a plate of scrambled eggs or drink a mayonnaise and orange juice smoothie. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> this is a question I oh, made for fuck. you. Oh, fuck. Scrambled eggs. What? Yeah? Yeah. You think you could eat a whole plate of scrambled eggs? No. But you would do that over a mayonnaise and orange juice yes. smoothie. Yes. Can I add cheese to the eggs at least? Or I'll allow it. Ketchup I'll allow something. it. Yeah, condiments are okay. Anything. Okay. Oh, condiments are allowed? Yeah. Eggs. That question doesn't apply because I love eggs, but I just know you're... Also, like, the idea of... Aversion. Mayo. Mayo. An OJ drinking get... mayo. With OJ, though, together? <laughs> And like to the, it's not really even incorporated, so it's a little chunky. Can I just the mayonnaise. It's a creamsicle. <laughs> just, 
<laughs> you know, it's like that. It's probably if you blended that no, together, no. it would probably taste delicious. Should we try that for a short form video? I will not be included. mayo and OJ smoothie. You can do it yourself with Can't. your t-shirt that says "Farting is Life." Farting is life. <laughs> Just it's sitting there, farting is life. T-shirt, mayo and OJ smoothie. I don't like it. eggs. That's so content. Yeah, that's what you're trying to call me out on. Here. I content. don't like eggs. Yeah, well, it's not. I'm not calling you out. It's okay to not like eggs. I just wanted to know what you know. You're picking on me. That's literally my job as your husband. <laughs> you should have prepared me that this was happening because I would have had some questions ready for you. Oh well, maybe we'll have to do another one, and you have them ready for me. I like Because there's that much a, definitely a few in here that are geared mostly for you. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? Ooh, that's tough. That's a little more existential. Probably when. I think probably when for me too. I think the I I'd hate I hate the idea of knowing I'm gonna get to hit be by honest. a car. I would never leave my fucking house again. That's what I mean, but then <laughs> but if but if the prophecy's true, what a car just gonna drop Listen, into your house I from the sky? I gotta know when it's okay to start with my new diet of eating ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> yeah. I got oh I got I a couple if you know of when, weeks left. If you know when you can really just you can really ride it till the wheels fall off, knowing yeah, that you yeah. Can, why are we trying to stay healthy if there's no literally yeah. go full blown YOLO? I don't know that that's like a that's kind of like a premise that's been in movies and stuff. Obviously, knowing the future and stuff like yeah. that. I hate the idea. I would never want to know either of those things. Yeah, that's terrible. Would you rather have a deathly allergy to gluten or dairy? Oh shit, that's tough. Yeah, probably gluten. Really. I dairy? was a hundred percent sure. Dairy. You were going to pick gluten. You you would give up pasta. No. Well, they make gluten-free pasta. They, they make I mean, They make dairy-free fucking whatever's dairy. Ice cream that tastes like poo poo. Oh, so it's ice cream versus pasta for you? It's basically ice cream. <laughs> ice cream is like my Tom Brady. It's up there. Don't fucking touch it. Get away from it's me. It's on a pedestal in a league of its I do. Own. I mean, trust me. I love me some gluten. Don't you worry. But I mean, I love bread. I. I like bread, but I don't, I can live without bread. Interesting. I would go, I would go dairy allergy over. I would much rather not have to worry about, which is weird. Cause there's like, I do have a mini history in my family of gluten intolerance. I think I could deal with not having dairy. Oh yeah. It's gluten it's, in a lot well, more it's, for me, it's just, for of. me, it's just milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream. Most cheese. of the stuff are like luxuries. Yeah. Cheese, you're gonna be all right with cheese? Yeah, I mean, I love cheese. I don't need a lot of it as it is right now, but I love it. I love cheese. You know what? You I want don't know. some nachos next time we go to the bar? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Would you rather give up coffee or ice cream? So this one we know the answer. We already to. know. Yeah. There's an untouchable category. Yeah, but. Tom and ice cream are up there. All right, all right, hold on. So I gotta rephrase the question then. Somehow. I love coffee very much. Would you rather give up coffee or pasta? Yeah, you're Italian and you. Gluten really... included pasta? All pasta. All? <laughs> yep, gluten, unglued, just I pasta. I think pasta. There's just so many other things I could eat. Okay. I, I really, wow. I love coffee, I, I need it. Your Italian heritage is rolling over and it's great right I now. love pasta, I mean, as it is, I don't eat pasta that much. I have it like, what, twice a month maybe? Is that really it? I guess you're right. Yeah. I love it. <clears throat> yeah, co I don't. I but don't. I have coffee every single day more often than not a couple times a day. <laughs> Indeed, fair question. I would also- <clears throat> I would crave it so bad. I and would... not even, I mean, you can get caffeine in other ways, but oh, I course. want coffee. Replace it with Coke. <laughs> Excuse me. I was thinking like energy drinks. Yeah, 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 something. Yeah, I wouldn't be giving up coffee either. Would you, you rather- would, You would, <clears throat> so you would, you'd pick coffee. Coffee over pasta, coffee over ice cream, yeah. Well like you said, like coffee's coffee. The other things are like foods that like, There's okay, a bunch of different variety. Like coffee's very, coffee's very unique in that sense. There's something mildly cringe about being a coffee addict. Is there? I'm not like a full blown coffee I, no, addict. I, don't I love it though. Not so much about drinking it regularly. It's fine. It's apparently good for your health. There's a lot of studies about yeah. coffee. Obviously, like that doesn't take into account if you're putting three liters of cream and sugar in every single coffee you have. Precisely. Coffee itself, caffeine, has health benefits when taken regularly and relative moderation. However, it gets a little cringe when it becomes your personality, which I've seen with people. I don't think it's like that for us, but you know, some people, oh my fucking morning coffee, my Dunkin's, I gotta have, yeah, it's like yeah, a whole yeah. subgenre of content on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I get it, like, but I hate the idea of having anything be a crux for you to be able to operate. Crack is like that for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you rather run a marathon in extreme heat or sub-zero temperatures? Sub-zero. It just, so I feel like I would choose that as well. I guess it depends on how cold, but just cause you can, no matter how cold it is typically. Also let the record know that I've never run more than a mile. Really? I mean, not that I can yeah, remember. Yeah, but when you're carrying around sweater hams, it's hard to run, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm very interested in running at this point. I'm not. However, I just haven't done it. 
I think the most I've ever run is probably five, five miles. No, five K is like three point one. I think I've run closer to four or five. I've just At never the, been into uh, it. No, yeah, me neither. There's. Run, yeah, I don't even want to go down this path, but yeah. running sucks. There's a million other ways to get exercise that's not I running. I get it, but I still have an interest in it. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, listen, running is better than not running, but I would, for me personally, as a large man, this is the big, biggest problem for me has always been, I'm a, I'm a big dude, I've always carried around a lot of weight, whether it was fat or muscle or a combination of the two, because I've kind of done one of these my whole life. It's just, I'm, my body is not, I'm meant for lifting heavy things, and I don't mind doing cardio, but constant impact, boom, yeah. boom, no, boom, 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 on the right? knees, yeah. Terrible for my knees and my joints. There's a million other ways for me to get cardiovascular health that aren't running. Like the Peloton, which is why I love it. I love it too, <laughs> which is why I don't need to start running. Exactly. Next question, okay. would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button on your life? Pause. I'm kind of like, if you can't tell, I'm answering quick with these things, just kind of giving you my first thought. I like that's how it should be played. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's good. You want the, because that's my first typically. thought would be a pause. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm the same way. I'm not I trying to like go backwards and redo something, yeah, but like no. sometimes you just want to like, eh, yeah. hold up. Sometimes I just want to hit pause for three months so I can play the new World of Warcraft expansion. And, and no time and, has passed. And not have my life pass me by. But I can't do that. Sometimes I want to hit pause and play sometimes. League of Legends until I hit Challenger, but no, I can't do that either. I have to not play the video games because otherwise my life falls to shambles. <laughs> It's true, I just though. want to hit pause on how cute Jackson is sometimes. There you go. I'd pause yesterday. I'd pause I would have paused it. yesterday yeah. a couple of times. Yeah, I'd pause at age four. Boy ever. Yeah, we're nearing the end of the very cute phase. Ah! God bless America. Shit. I'm not ready. Would you rather never be stuck in traffic again oh. or never get another cold? Oh. Yeah, I know that's a tough one. Traffic. You'd rather never be stuck in yes. traffic again? Yes. I think I would. I think that's what I would answer traffic too. Traffic is. Ugh. It's like colds suck. Cold suck, but they come and go. They come and go. You've lived our whole life yeah, however many a year, it. a couple of years. But traffic, I could just drive nowhere. If I could, yeah, not have to think about what time I'm leaving to get somewhere. <laughs> no, it just yeah. takes X amount of minutes to get from point A to B. Yeah, I like it. Solid answer. I'm I'm in agreement there. Yeah. Would you rather lose all your money and valuables or lose all the pictures you have ever taken? Pictures? Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought hard about that one too. I might go money and valuables because okay. you can always make money. And get valuables. I mean, I'm not like decrepit. Like I have memories in my brain. I can. I am decrepit. Right? I know. Like you would never be able to see a picture of your son from four below ever again. Mm. No baby pics. Like you, half the time we're in the house, you're just scrolling your phone looking at baby pictures of Jackson. So don't pretend like. <laughs> it's like. Because I know the end is nearing of the cute face. That's what I'm saying. You would never have pictures of him in the most part of the most of the cute face. So just, just, we can make money. We could get we could claw it back maybe. But How are we going to find a cardboard box to live I in? don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we need to dig a little deeper to really understand the, the technicalities of this question. But yeah, leave me alone. Yeah. Would you rather give up your smartphone forever? You can still text and call or give up television forever. TV, because if I have a smartphone, I can watch TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, I mean... It, Tough to, it's a tough question to ask when there's so many technicalities in that. I, either way, I'd say TV. But you could never TV. like sit and relax and watch a show. I know you would. I feel like most, pe most people would answer that now, especially kids, because it's like you take away their phone, it's taking a leg, basically. I would I need the internet on me at all times. I would get lost everywhere I went. I wouldn't know what's on the menu at the restaurant we're going to. Yeah, this woman is so reliant. I would rather give up my phone. I, like, I love... There's people like Casey Neistat, some people do this, where they're going back to dumb phones, where it's like, oh. hey, like we have computers and internets where we can sit down and do all the things we need to do for business. I think a lot of it's for people who work like in IT or in social media. I think about it a lot. I love the idea of it, like having a flip phone that can only text and call. Yeah. I wouldn't want to, I would hate losing out on the GPS when I need it. Yeah. That would suck. But if you have a car that is a good one, whatever. Ugh, the car ones in my experience suck. Yeah, compared to like just. It takes three years yeah, to type in the Yeah, compared to linking up GMATs to. or whatever. Yeah, they're, just, they're inferior technology compared to what you have on your phone. Sorry, you wouldn't have any Spotify. Yeah, there'd be, there's definitely a lot of drawbacks. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. The calendar on you at all times. Yeah. So, Nancy, you'd give up the TV, keep the yeah, phone. I would. I, I can't, I don't know. It's too hard for me to answer. Would you rather argue all night to resolve a conflict or end the argument res unresolved before bed? Uh, end it. Wait, what, say that again? Would Good you question. rather, wait, wait. Would you rather argue all night to resolve a conflict or end the argument unresolved before bed? I don't like conflict, so I'd rather just go to bed. <laughs> Well, two things, two, two sides. I know sided. it's fucked up. I'd rather just go to bed and hope it doesn't exist. Multifaceted question for you because anything that prevents you from going to bed is problematic because you love sleep. That is true. I typically like to 
have some sort of closure. I know you would, and I would rather just ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. I know you would, but that's why I'm always the guy trying to draw it out to make sure there's I a... Know. Fortunately, there's we don't run into that issue too often, which no. is nice. You we, know what's up all night yelling at each other? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Yes, yeah, <laughs> right here asleep by 9.30. I'm on the couch. Laying at you for, yeah. I mean, yelling at you for crop dusting me or something, or for <laughs> trying to do a Dutch oven. Dutch oven! Would you rather snort a line of minced garlic or put a drop of Frank's Red Hot in your eyeball? Snort garlic or Frank's, Frank's in my eyeball? Yeah, over the garlic? Snorting garlic up into my nose? Yeah, that could... That would hurt really bad and oh. probably cause some problems. I mean, Frank's could cause some problems in your eyeball too, but... I put Frank's be right. to be generous. Like if I, I put know, like ghost right, pepper, right. like Tabasco. Frank's, that shit's mild. Yeah, but not in your eye. It probably doesn't feel mild. I would also probably do that though over the yeah. snorting garlic. You just love yeah. hot sauce. You're like, oh, let me see well, in however the old, many ways I can... In the old Jackass day, steve was famous it. for snorting wasabi. Whoa! <laughs> Bunch. <laughs> that I imagine probably was that way hurts worse. So that bad. I can't even. I, I don't even want to know how bad it would hurt to snort wasabi. No. Just thinking of how bad it hurts when it goes up in your nasal cavity when you're eating it. You don't eat wasabi, I would imagine, ever, do you? Well, I don't eat sushi. Right. Um, right. I, I like wasabi peas. Does that count? All right, you get a pass for that one, I guess. <laughs> wasabi peas are delicious. Why have I not had wasabi peas in like five years? I used to eat those things on the regular back when I was a bachelor. It was like I had eggs in my house because wasabi peas and tortilla hint the limes. That's all I ate. I think it's because I shopped like exclusively at Trader Joe's when I lived at that old place because there was one close and it was a lot cheaper than everything else. So I just had a very small catalog of things I kept around. My, my, has my life changed being sure married has. to you. <laughs> Would you rather be mildly allergic to dust or very allergic to pollen? I'm allergic to both of them. That's just a shitty question. No, you are, but like, I'm just saying, would you, ra would you rather be mildly allergic to dust with no pollen allergy? Or, yeah. Or really allergic to pollen with no dust allergy? No, the first one. You'd no rather, pollen allergy. No pollen allergy, just mildly allergic to dust. Yeah. Probably makes sense. Yeah. Dander. The pollen is outrageous here. Yes. In the spring, so I would die if I was very allergic. Yeah, some people do. I mean, we have friends yeah. that get absolutely sidelined from their yeah. seasonal. I mean, allergies. I feel it, but I'm not like. Same. I can tell what's happening. Out. I get a little bit, but like some people like can't even open their eyes. It's insane. Would you rather swim naked in a pool of my body hair clippings? Holy shit. Or have to babysit ten cats for a week? Your body hair clippings. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can make that happen. Like, okay, so you shave your body hair outside in and a then pool. You... I'm talking no, Scrooge. I'm, no, I'm, I'm just talking giving Scrooge. A real life situation. Oh, okay. I already said yes. Shut up. Own it. You shave your body hair outside, either Shoot. like right in front of the door, usually, and then leave That's, the clippings all around. It's because I used to have wireless clippers and I don't anymore. They're wired, so I have to plug so it. So you into just the wall leave. Outlet. Yeah, but instead of sweeping them away or anything like that, you just. Them. Well, so it's like I, a little forest of hairs. Yeah, well, it's typically when it's nice out, I sweep them. But when it's very cold, I just have to run back inside. Because imagine it's like 20 degrees out. I'm outside shirtless trying to do a little manscaping. Because mm -hmm. doing it inside is un impractical. It's just like, especially when you're married to her, because she would have a, it, an absolute aneurysm. Yeah. Because when you clip, when you shave, you like trimming the beard, the body hair, it's like a it just it gets off. everywhere. Yeah, it's like it's like having a an hour long barbershop session in your house. I guess I could do it in the bathroom and then sweat, but I don't know. I mean, so I choose to do it outside, even during the winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fine by me. <laughs> That's for you, by the way. If if I was like living, I when I lived alone, I used to do it inside. And just I didn't know that. Leave it there. <laughs> Here we go. The stay on the animal. Yeah, we're on the. We're, this is even better. Would you rather let a dog lick your open mouth for five seconds, or lick a cat's fur coat five times? Oh, definitely let the dog op lick lick me. Lick. Oh yeah, your open mouth. Yep. You Getting think that I would put my tongue on a fucking cat? <laughs> Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? But the idea of a dog just getting in there with a big fat they tongue. I mean, kind of do anyway. I haven't really made out with a dog, but they lick you in the face and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you let a dog lick you? Let? Never. <laughs> <laughs> My wife. Some friendly little chihuahua comes up to you and meow. Yeah, it starts yapping at you. Gets all in your face and gets So, excited. all right, so you'd let her, you'd just let a dog suck on your tongue over licking a cat's coat. Absolutely. Uh, right, fair no enough. regrets. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, I like it. What about you? Answer that one. I would probably also let the dog <laughs> lick my tongue. Yeah. Yeah. And the thought of licking a cat coat is gross because you get like that. But the cat does that to himself all the time. Then he's, I, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Can we just 
We should talk about cats. Final question, would you rather do an outro for this video or end it abruptly without saying goodbye to our viewers who we appreciate dearly? 